Starbucks workers across the country staging a three-day strike, and that strike starts today. That makes it the longest action for Starbucks workers in the history of Starbucks. Over a thousand baristas uh, are expected to participate in this work stoppage at over a hundred stores. And this is just another instance of Starbucks Workers United, which has won union election after union election. The numbers on that are staggering. Um, I think they've won at around 270 locations in a year. And it doesn't, there's no signs of it stopping, which is why we get these panicked <laughs> press, uh, or not press conferences, but I guess internal uh yeah, so like meetings. investor or whatever, yeah, management with meetings Schultz. where he's like, hey, guess what, guys? You like NFTs? Well, wait until December when people are really going to live in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm so glad that these Starbucks workers didn't settle for the NFT over the wage increases. That that aged pretty well. Um, I'm a digital native. <laughs> um, so the, they're staging this action and here is uh, a TikTok of from from Starbucks uh, workers speaking about this action and encouraging everybody: do not buy Starbucks gift cards this holiday season. Holiday season, everybody's buying Starbucks gift cards for parents, teachers, coaches, whatever. People are buying them this year. Unionized Starbucks baristas are asking you to please not buy Starbucks gift cards this year. This is because Starbucks has launched a scorched earth union busting campaign against organizing baristas, including everything from firing baristas to shutting down stores. And the federal government is prosecuting Starbucks for over 900 violations of federal labor law. They are refusing to bargain with us in good faith. And so please, this year we are asking that you do not buy Starbucks gift cards. Use this opportunity to go to your local coffee shop, support them, support literally any other coffee shop, just not Starbucks this year. Well said. Um, uh, at SB Workers United on TikTok. The amount of um, money that I saw in these times wrote this up, that this fiscal year, Starbucks made $212 million from leftover money on Starbucks gift cards. And <sighs> they just, I mean, that is a... Hey, a that's on top of the wage theft. <laughs> exactly. Oh, boy, it's gravy for those executives. It's like frosting on frosting. Some of that leftover money could have gone to wage increases, right? I mean, I'm not an accountant. I'm not an accountant, but that's my sense of things. If I were to do the math no, it's it's go off to, the top of my head. It's got to go to the uh, NFT research project. <laughs> so um, a reminder, just support these Starbucks workers if you have the opportunity don't go to the, to Starbucks, especially during this time period, I would say. Go to another coffee shop down the road, whatever. Um, but the solidarity with these workers across the country, because this is a massive action. Yeah. And in, in the midst of just historic actions at uh, the largest strike in the history of, of public universities, I believe, happening ongoing at the University of California, um, and just a number of historic milestones that we have to show solidarity with respect for uh stand side by side with these workers who are striking 